if time will one day flow backward and effects precede courses, or whether there are ultimate limits to what humans can know. There are even children, and I have met some of them, who want to know what a black hole looks like. What is the smallest piece of matter? Why we remember the past and not the future? How it is, if there was chaos early, that there is apparently order today? And why there is a universe? In our society, it is still customary for parents and teachers to answer most of these questions with a shrug or with an appeal to vaguely record religious precepts. Some are uncomfortable with issues like these because they so vividly expose the limitations of human understanding. But much of philosophy and science has been driven by such inquiries. An increasing number of adults are willing to ask questions of this sort, and occasionally they get some astonishing answers. Equidistant 